Remember Isabella from our high school? Lucy's friend? Oh well, yeah, and she went missing, right? Yeah, but Lucy didn't believe Isabella went missing. She ain't no runaway. So she went and go, go in there do her little detective work. And she noticed that every person I have talked to went missing the same day. At one time I was talking to Esmeralda, the girl KJ liked. And that same day, Lucy, she told me, after school, she ran into the guy in red. And she recognized the guy. It was a kid he knew, she barely talked in middle school. It was Machiavelli. She said they locked eyes for a couple seconds and he walked the opposite way, away from campus. And since then, Esmeralda didn't go missing and so any other person I have talked to in that week. And after that week, the car accident of Lucy and no body was found. Now, even after all that, even if people try to connect the dots, it still didn't make sense because she only told me. I only, I was the only one to actually figure it out. Two days before the accident, she told me she's gonna get the bottom of this and she told me not to tell anyone, including you, PJ. Because if I was to talk to you or anything bring you involved, she was worried that you'll be target next. And she does not wanna lose you. Basically, me and Lucy were the main targets at the time because Machiavelli did like Lucy. We really did. And he really did hate me. And when she disappeared, all the kidnappings were stopped. All the missing people, no more for six years. Or at least all the, the entire time we were in high school. Because I believe her disappearance was the reason why Machiavelli stopped. I think she made a deal with him. And that's why she's gone. Machiavelli has her. But regardless, I know she still loves you, PJ. Well then after six years, why is he back? Well, I don't believe it was as long as it lasted. I think he just can't let go. Even if he has the love of his life, if any way he has her, he still can't let go of the hatred he has towards me. Back in 2013, me and MJ had a fight. A excruciating fight. And I won. Now, he did kill his family. What? He's not lying about that. I'm sure he has told you, right? Because I know you, DJ. I know you, PJ. I even know the other youth. I, as I told KJ, I've been in your guys' shoes. I'm sure you tried your best to fight against him, but what he's saying to you. Now, that death hit us all hard, and it just happened. We didn't lie to you about that. He will tell you the truth, but he'll misinterpret it. That's how good he is. He's very good at manipulation. You know how many motherfuckers has died? You know how many ladies' hearts has broken? Or even worse, motherfucker even hurt an old ass lady who's seeking for love. And he used your love interest to tear us apart. He used your rage to tear us apart. And when KJ gets back with Benelli, I want you all to stay here. I want y'all to guard this place. Because the next time I see MJ, I will fight him one on one and finally end all this. I'm not gonna ask you to forgive me, or even ask you to trust me. Or even make any excuse that I'm not perfect and we all make mistakes. No, because by the end of the day, I have hurt you and lied to you. I get my methods are unreasonable, but sometimes I had to get my hands dirty to make sure you guys live a better life. Make you better than who you are, make you better than me. Now I have helped many people. And 40 of them were ungrateful for that. But I'm not gonna act all petty. It has hurt me. You may not see it, but it has hurt me. I was the realest you follow, I was the realest you looked up. 
I was the realest you enjoyed being around. And what am I? No longer the realest, right? I'm some mindless monster. The fakest, if even. Hmm? I get I'm wrong. I get I'm fucked up. You two. Clean all others. The other two. All the soda pops, all of our comrades. If it means anything. I am terribly sorry that I lied to you and hurt you. KJ, where's BJ? BJ, I lost him. <laughs>